Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kenya. This will be my first video and today's video is going to be a haul. If you guys want to see what I've collected and what I've been purchasing, please keep watching. <laughs> the Precisely My Brow from Benefit. Uh, I picked up the colors 5 and 6. I don't know why I didn't pick up 4.5 and 5. What they look like. I've tried the a couple of things from Benefit as far as their brows go and I really really like them so uh, I'm always going through pencils so I was like let me go ahead and get these they were on sale and that's why I picked up two so it's basically like buy one get one free so I did pick those up they look like this I'm not gonna take them out because I'm sure you guys have seen them a hundred times but I have a really cute colorful palette it's from the brand Delancey I think that's how you see it. Anyways, I saw this palette on there and I thought that was super cute. It is how it looks here. And then Jacob to sleep and it's super colorful. Colorful. Uh, <laughs> most times I'm wearing a neutral eye, but I've been like really loving blue and green. So I thought this would be a perfect palette to try out and not have to spend too much on a super colorful palette since I don't use them that much. But um, the pigmentation on this is actually really good. I also picked up on Amazon this 10 piece brush set. It came with one, two, three, four uh, face brushes. And the rest are eyes. I think one of them is technically a lip brush, but it's way too fluffy in my opinion for it to be used on the lips. I used it as a small detail brush for the eyes. These are actually really nice. They were not even $8 for 10 brushes. And they were so um, soft. There wasn't really a smell on them. Um, they're very dense, which is like surprising considering how cheap they are. They have this really pretty purple handle. And they're weighted like brushes this cheap usually feel very cheap and most of these have a really good like weight to them i was very surprised um there's like minimal shedding on the larger brushes like this one has a hair coming out and then on another brush i can't remember it was either this one or this one had a brush a brush a hair come out but not even bad there wasn't really a smell to them when I received them. Um, I thought something else that was really weird is that they shrink wrapped the ferrule, which I kind of like because it's protecting the ferrule from scratches on its way to you, which is kind of nice. But um, <laughs> they're saying this one's a foundation brush, which no, it has powder on it because I've been using it to set my eyes. But yeah, I really like this. If you see this on Amazon, I would definitely buy it. The next thing I have is from Walmart. I picked up a couple of things on a couple different trips. Um, I saw this from Profusion. It is their Highlight and Contour 2. This is a six color highlight and contour palette. I thought this would be perfect for travel. It has deeper shades, which you hardly ever see at the drugstore, shades that go this deep. And then these deeper highlights. I don't know how, like how much of a highlight this will be on me just because it is kind of deep. But that's awesome. I'm so happy to see. I would give this a try. This looks super cute. I'm thinking okay this is this out and uh, hopefully this works out really well. Uh, the next thing I picked up was this e.l.f. Sheer Tint Brow Gel. I needed another clear brow gel. Right now I'm using the Anastasia one. But I wanted one with a smaller brush head. And this one is tiny. I'm sure you guys have seen this. Uh, most of the stuff that I'm going to be showing is like things that have been out forever. But I had never purchased this one. I saw this one in Walmart and I went ahead and grabbed it. That's how that looks. And look how tiny the little brush is. So small for my little baby brows. This actually works really well. I did try this out. And this works really well. It was the Rimmel Stay Matte Concealer. It's part of their Stay Matte line. Um, I've tried the powder. I have not tried the foundation. I know they added colors. And then I did see they had the concealer out. Um, this is their Soft Matte Concealer. And the color I picked up was Honey. Number 432. It looks like this. But I'm excited to try it out. I'm very much a concealer junkie, so... Things I picked up are from Ulta. 
These two I picked up in store. This is the Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. It's their full coverage eyeshadow base. Um... I picked it up in medium. Uh, I picked this up for my cut creases. Yeah, you could use concealer, but I actually really like this. It's a little thinner and wetter. That sounds kind of gross. But <laughs> I actually really like it. The only thing is, my only qualm with it, okay, is the applicator. So, of course, I use my own brush, a thin synthetic brush to cut my crease. Um, I did use that today to cut the crease. Uh, but if you apply it with the applicator, you're going to get too much product and it's going to kind of be precise. So I'm not really sure what happened with the applicator as to why it's so thick, but I do actually really enjoy the product. This is nice. The other thing I picked up is, but the color is really pretty. Another product I picked up is the Too Faced uh, Dark Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzer. This has been out forever too. I, every time I've seen this in store, I thought that's not going to be dark enough, but I ended up buying it online and it barely makes it. Like if I get any tanner, uh, I probably won't be able to use it. But, um, it looks kind of washed out on camera. It's not that deep in the first place. Um, this smells super good, but it's not that deep. So sorry if my lights are washing this out, but I'm sure you guys have seen this on Primerizer. It is a primer and moisturizer in one. I had been wanting to try this, but I think it's like normal $42 and I just wasn't willing to spend it just because I don't usually like um, Smashbox primers. I do have their primer oil. I've tried the regular primer. I think I tried the primer light. I do like the uh, pore minimizing one from them. This one on sale and I've been wanting to try it and I went ahead and picked that up. So another product I picked up was the MAC Fix Plus. I love MAC Fix Plus, the original. I love the smell of it. It smells so good. It just smells like a little spa. But they were having the scented ones on. I did pick up lavender since I prefer that smell over rose. That's the other scent that was available. Um, so I haven't, again, opened this one mostly. This stuff hasn't been opened just because I have other things I can already open. So I already have a uh, MAC coconut open right now. So I will be opening I'll order it with Juvia's Place. They had 40% off. So I finally picked up the Magic Mini. I love Juvia's Place palettes. I have, I'm probably missing maybe three or four of them. Uh, but whoop. <laughs> but I finally went ahead and picked up the mini. Like I said, I'm super into blue and green right now. And this is blue and green. I don't know why it took me so long to finally pick this guy up. But you guys have seen this a million times already. But I went ahead and finally got that guy. And then while I was on the site, I picked up their... I can't even remember what this is. But this is their like pointed... Um, I don't know if they call this a highlighting brush or a concealer brush. I'm going to use it for both setting or highlighting my face. But it's super duper soft as usual. Um, it's got a nice weight to it. Juvia's Place brushes are like rarely talked about. I don't hear anybody ever talking about these. These are super good. I have their turquoise one which isn't on their website anymore. I don't know why that is. That's so good. I wanted their pink one. That's gone too. I should have got that when it was on sale. Low buy. <laughs> because I just buying and buying way too much stuff. Okay. And then the, this is one of my favorite liquid liners. Like in the pen form. Uh, I have to have the ones that have the little balls. I find like those work the best. The ones that don't have those are not well made. And they just don't work for me. They end up drying out. They're usually not very black. They're just a hot mess. But this is one of my favorites. I hadn't had it for a long time because I was using the NYX uh, ink one. I think this is called ink something. That one is super duper good. Um, but this one was on sale. So I was like, I already love this one. Go ahead and get that. And then, and then the last thing. Guys, I think that's it. It felt like I had like a million more things. I've probably been talking forever. But I picked up the Ariana Cloud 
uh, I picked up the spray, like the little traveler, because I smelled it in a sample that was sent to me in another order. And because I hadn't smelled it in person, I was like, hmm. I'm not trying to get stuck with a big bottle. So I'm like, well, let me try it out. It smells pretty good. And if I love it, I'll buy it in, in the large size. So I do like it. And when this goes out, I will definitely buy it in the bigger bottle. This reminds me of pink sugar. It's all right. But I do really like this. So I'm glad I picked it up. I will definitely pick up the larger size. The oh, no, no, no. Last thing. I just forgot. I picked up the Ulta Beauty ultra slim brow pencil in dark brown it looks like this uh i haven't tried this and i think it has pretty good reviews i'm always trying brow products brows eyes and concealer are probably the things i purchase the most just because those are my favorite things but yeah guys thank you if you stay to the end thank you so much for watching i hope that you subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video